Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It's now uh, 17 to 9 o'clock in the morning. And I've got to reread some of these, so if they sound familiar, it's because I don't know where I stopped and started. So, I've got to just reread a whole bunch. A whole, whole bunch. You will always be okay. Being okay doesn't mean that life will be perfect. Nor does it presume that everything will turn out better than before. It simply means that you will eventually make it back into a place of equilibrium. Because whatever you are currently experiencing or feeling is temporary. It will pass, as everything does, even if things turn out differently than you expected. Take some solace in knowing that you will always be okay, even if you are different than before. Okay. A wholeness, wholeness affirmation. I am not broken, nor have I ever been. I don't need fixing. I am worthy and complete exactly as I am. Okay, that's, that's talking about the farm tractor there. All emotions are relevant. Joy and positive thinking are powerful tools for living well. But so too are sadness, grief, anger, and fear. Set the tile and 
clean it real good and reground it and might get by, but you can feel the floor's got a depression right there, so I don't know if there's been a leak and the floor's rotted or, I mean, because I can't see it from underneath anymore because I finished the basement, you know. Uh, but it's kind of funny, it's not around the toilet and it's not around the sink, it's kind of like in the middle. All right. It's right where you step through the door, it's like... Well, so it's it's raised up, is what no, you it's, said. It's, it's depressed. Okay, it's depressed. Yeah. Well, down. well, I would say that that is a good thing because uh, you're gonna have depressions in your foundation from time to time. No, you don't want them, but it's easier to fix a depression than it is a hump. hump. Yeah, because with a hump, you got to cut the plywood up, you got to shave the joist off, you got to, I've been there, done that. Yeah, yeah. And I don't, I don't really want to do you one, but I do have a couple of boxes of leftover vinyl floor, wood looking floor that I have. So I was thinking, you know, I might just skim over the damn floor. The whole floor in that bathroom? Yeah. You don't like I having tile, what is it, ceramic tile that's down yeah, there? Yeah, but it's, it's old, I don't know, like the gun type shape tile, a little square. It's got a nice tile, but I can't match it. Yeah. And I can't fix it. Yeah, they change, they change tile every year. Well, they might have it in stock now. Yeah, they might. Yeah. Things are, I mean, after all, Bill jeans came back in stock. Yeah. <laughs> I say you. But that's just a bit odd, though, that you've got a depression and I'm depressed and, and Mom's depressed and Rex is sitting on top of the world. Where are you going? Are you going to drive off again? Yeah, well, I'm waiting on service. We went to the thrift store. She found some bicycles for the kids. And uh, she wanted me to look at them and get the short way to get them. They're thousand dollar bicycles for like 50 bucks, she says. She, oh, well. She, she's, not, she's not sure. Have you ever heard of Fusion? Bicycles are a lot of fun, unless they're heavy. If they're real heavy, they're hard to ride. So I'd, I'd check out to see how heavy they were. And she doesn't know. <coughs> she got, she stopped there five minutes before closing last night. So. Well, it's good she's got a good eye for them. Yeah, well, she bought me that uh, lid welder for $1.25. Something like that. $130 welder. Uh, $20 to $30 bucks or whatever. I tried it, it works pretty good. Yeah. Oh, uh, it's a wire, it's a wire feeder type welder. Yeah, I've, I've used them. I can't, I can't cotton up to them. I gotta have a stick welder. Well, I got a stick welder, but the problem is I can't weld nothing fine with it. You know what I mean? 
Not saying what? Nothing. Oh, well. Yeah. They burn right through this stuff. Well, I guess it can be done. I've never tried it. I've, I've seen it done, but never in person. But well, now, I've seen uh, when I go up to the mats, they now make a portable welding kit that's on a thing with the wire feeder, runs off a of battery. It's for like, it's got maybe a 20 minute life of welding. Yeah. Which, uh, when you're like on off road recovery, these guys go up in those, those razors and things break tie rod ends all the time, and they're breaking little, little cheap parts, you know. So, they, uh, I think you need to look at that. Okay, I'll let you do that. I'll be around after a while. I should be still here. And I don't think anybody's going to come up and pick me up today.
feelings are curative and help us successfully make it through challenging situations by giving to the care by giving to the care of them don't avoid the emotions that may not feel as positive there are moments when the only option is to sit still and feel the full spectrum of human emotions. When those times come, feel those emotions. Allow yourself to feel whatever you do in each moment, knowing that joy and happiness will eventually show up once again. Yay! November 12th. And like I said, I don't know where I stopped on that little game I was playing. Everything you feel is a result of what you think. You feel what you feel because you think what you think. So if you don't like how you feel, then change what you are thinking. Do you have control over your own thinking? When life hands you its worst, consider how you could change your perspective of the situation in order to shift your feelings around it. 13th of November. Ease up. Relax. Sit still. Breathe deeply. Surrender inward. Take care of yourself. And then begin again. Lori. You cannot change the past. It is done. Leave it behind you. Rather than allowing it to anchor you in place and keep you from moving forward, there is hope in looking forward and freedom in letting go. You deserve to have both. When you least feel like it, smile. Even a tiny one makes a big difference. You are not smiling to pretend to be happy, but instead because it's difficult to be unhappy and smile at the same time. Smiling is simply showing yourself a bit of grace during hard times. It does not mask your feelings, but instead lightens the weight of whatever you're carrying. A smile offers temporary relief. It is a gift that you can give yourself at any moment. The power of self-respect. To free us from the expectations of others. To give us back to ourselves. There lies the great, the singular power of self-respect. Joan Diving Swapping towards Bethlehem. A long overdue thank you.
Thank you for being kind. Thank you for being considerate. Thank you for caring about others, even when no one else is watching. Thank you for having empathy. Thank you for being authentic. Thank you for loving and responding, respecting yourself. Thank you for being exactly who you are. Success is whatever you say it is. Don't get entangled in someone else's definition of what success should be. Create your own narrative. Forgive, forge your own path. Redefine what success is and allow it to mean whatever you believe it to be. What does success look like to you? Well, I hope that did the trick. We shall see what we shall see. So, God bless you. God keep you from harm. He sent you out in Jesus' name.